Five minutes to launch. That launch key again has been inserted a minute ago, putting the launch sequence into automatic mode. Space Station now currently flying 260 statue miles over Iraq. Just four minutes from launch, the next milestone will be when the fuel lines and other elements of the rocket engines are purged with nitrogen to fireproof them by removing vapors of fuel and oxidizer. Two minutes, 45 seconds to launch. At this time, the booster tank would be being pressurized for launch and optimize the, fuel f the flow of fuel and helps add to um, structural support for the rocket. International Space Station, currently flying 260 statue miles over the Caspian Sea. One minute, 30 seconds to launch. At this point, the ground propellant feed would now have been terminated. Space station currently flying over Turkmenistan, about to cross over Uzbekistan, and then the southern border of Kazakhstan, the position of the ISS at the time of launch. One minute to go, the Soyuz will be switching to internal power. Soyuz booster on top is the progress vehicle. There's that first umbilical tower we're tracking. Second umbilical tower.
ignition has been started. Engines throttling up. And liftoff. We have liftoff of the Progress. Progress 73 on its way in the fast lane to the International Space Station. Everything looking good so far. Those four strap-on boosters providing the initial lift of the vehicle will burn for 1 minute 58 seconds. Still getting some great views on this clear day in Baikonur. Everything looking good so far during this first stage ascent. Just about 30 more seconds of this stage. At this point, the vehicle is traveling well over a thousand miles an hour. Confirmed booster separation. Now switching to animation, that core stage will burn for another 3 minutes 28 seconds. Good reports of the uh, second stage so far. This core stage again will burn until about the 4 minute 48 second mark into flight. Confirmation of launch shroud jettison, now revealing the Progress 73 underneath. Three minutes, 30 seconds into the flight. Everything's still looking good. This stage will burn for a little more than one more minute. Third stage will ignite a little bit before the end of the uh, core stage is burning. A hot fire technique that will happen at the lattice structure right at that orange stripe in the middle of the rocket. Still looking good, about 30 more seconds of this core stage. Good second stage separation and third stage ignition.
skirt has been jettisoned. Good reports from the third stage so far. Again, this stage burns for four minutes, two seconds. Starting to get some views from that third stage. You can see this is actually from the view of the progress. Those solar arrays at the forward end of the screen. Five minutes, 50 seconds into launch. Everything looking good so far. Six minutes into the flight, again, this third stage will burn until eight minutes, 45 seconds. Third stage will cut off and separate from the vehicle into an orbit. Seven minutes into the flight, everything's still looking good for this third stage, again burning until the eight minutes, 45 second mark into the flight. Seven minutes, 45 seconds into the flight. Just about one more minute of this stage. You'll see that third engine cut off and the separation of that third stage from the, suite, from the progress vehicle. A few more seconds, we'll see that third stage separate. And we have good third stage separation. Third stage shutdown and separation from the vehicle. And we have good confirmation of the solar array deployment. And the antennas have deployed as well. Progress successfully in orbit, catching up to the International Space Space Station just behind, which has leapfrogged it. Space Station 261 statute miles just at the border of uh, northern Mongolia and southern Russia, about to cross over the western border of the northern part of China.
a great ascent of Progress 73 lifting off on time. Everything about the ascent went perfectly. Progress in orbit right now. It'll just circle the Earth two times before it meets up with the International Space Station. We will be back on the air shortly. Again, that rendezvous happening in just a little over three hours. We'll go on the air a little bit before that. That rendezvous time, everything going according to the plan so far. We're looking at 10.35 a.m. Central Time for that rendezvous. Stay tuned for our coverage of the rendezvous and docking of Progress 73 to the Piers docking compartment on the expedited two-orbit fast-track lane to the International Space Station. We're going to take a short break until that time of rendezvous and let the flight controllers handle here in, uh, from the balcony camera of Mission Control Moscow over in Koryov. Let them handle the flight of uh, progress and the flight controllers here in Mission Control Houston watch over the International Space Station soon to meet just a little over three hours from now. Until then, this is Mission Control Houston.